Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Yasudian, a consultant dermatologist based in the UK. Low-dose oral minoxidil is now used on a regular basis for those with hair fall and alopecia. In this video, let's look at how the dosage affects hair growth and also the potential side effects. We first need to define what low-dose minoxidil means. Generally, oral minoxidil at doses above 10 mg tends to lower blood pressure. So doses below 5 mg may not have a big effect on those with normal blood pressure. The International Society of Hypertension suggests that a dose of minoxidil between 5 and 10 mg could start reducing the blood pressure. Most studies of hair loss, therefore, look at minoxidil doses between 0.25 mg and 5 mg daily. The information for this video was from a systematic review published recently. The review looks at how minoxidil dose affects four different parameters. The hair diameter, the hair density, its effects on hypertrichosis, which is increased hair growth on the face, and the potential cardiovascular side effects. First, let's look at how minoxidil affects hair diameter and density. Both improved in increasing dosages. By increasing the dosage of oral minoxidil by one milligram per day, after six months, there was an increase in hair diameter by 1.4 micrograms for every milligram. Here are the results from another series where authors confirmed an increase in hair diameter after 24 weeks of treatment. For every one milligram increase in dose, the total hair density increased by 47 hairs per centimeter squared and terminal hair density, which is the thickest hairs, increased by nine hairs per centimeter squared. Both these values were statistically highly significant. These positive correlations parallel the dose-dependent effect that has been established for topical minoxidil in the past. For example, the 5% solution or form of minoxidil resulted in more hair density and thickening than the 2% solution. In another review, authors confirmed that for men with androgenetic alopecia, increasing the dose from 2.5 mg a day to 5 mg a day resulted in significant improvement in hair density as seen in this image. Interestingly, men also noted an increase in the hair density in the beard area. What about side effects? Increasing the dosage of oral minoxidil by 1 mg daily was associated with an increased risk of having hypertrichosis of fine facial hair by 17.6% after 6 months. This is also statistically significant. So if we have a reference dose of 0.25 mg minoxidil daily, the frequency of hypertrichosis was 12 times higher with a 2.5 mg dose and 17 times higher with a dosage of 5 mg daily. In a previous study, Jimenez and colleagues found that about 55% of those who take 5 mg minoxidil a day will develop hypertrichosis. However, most patients who have this hypertrichosis or fine hairs are usually not affected to any great extent because it's quite mild. Another observation in a previous study was that hypertrichosis can be reversible within three to five months and do not always require discontinuation of therapy. Finally, the rate of cardiovascular side effects also increased by 4.8% for every one milligram increase in minoxidil dose. This included a reduction in blood pressure or hypotension edema, increased heart rate, palpitation, and abnormal ECG. These side effects were more prominent in those who had a previous abnormal kidney function or pre-existing heart problems. Most reports of the serious side effects with oral minoxidil occurred in those taking doses above 10 mg, usually for hypertension. The point worth noting is that if we get symptoms of chest pain, breathlessness, or persistent leg edema, in those taking low doses for alopecia, it should prompt appropriate investigations. In conclusion, the effects of oral minoxidil for hair growth are dose dependent. For every one milligram increase in the dose, the hair diameter and the hair density increases. So going up to five milligrams a day will increase its effectiveness in hair growth and density. However, the side effects also show a corresponding increase with hypertrichosis in the face and cardiovascular effects like edema. In most fit individuals, however, with no underlying health issues, these side effects seem quite mild and manageable. I hope you found this information helpful. 
Thank you for listening and bye.